Emission Spectroscopy, Segment 1 Video, Team Falcon, Brendan Fahm and Skylar Duhon. The research question for this segment was what determines the emission spectra lambda max? The in-lab hypothesis was the emission spectra lambda max is determined by the observed color of the substance. However, we refuted this hypothesis. Our new hypothesis is the lambda max is not determined by the observed color, but rather the molecular composition of the substances. In emission spectroscopy, lambda max is representative of the wavelength of the photon that is emitted at the greatest emission intensity. Lambda max is determined by molecular composition of the dyes, but this can result in different colors being observed. This further supports that observed color of a substance does not determine the lambda max on an emission spectrum. Molecular composition determines the amount of energy levels available and what colors are emitted. An upward arrow on an energy level diagram represents a photon being absorbed, which requires an input of energy because the electron is moving to a higher energy state. A downward arrow represents a photon being emitted because the electron is moving back down or relaxing to the lower energy level. Strings on a guitar can correlate to certain energy levels of electrons. When an electron is excited, it moves up an energy level and creates a certain lambda max on an emission spectrum. Each excited state of the electrons corresponds to a certain lambda max on an emission spectrum, based on the amount of energy put into the system. For the guitar, each string correlates to a certain note to be played. The lowest string is closest to the thumb because it is the easiest note to play, just like how an electron is favored at the lowest energy state or ground state. For a higher note, the higher strings need to be plugged, which means that energy needs to be put in in order to move the hand to the higher string. For a higher energy to be released from an electron, giving a certain wavelength, more energy needs to be put into the electrons. When the higher note is played, it gives a higher frequency, which is directly proportional to a high amount of energy from the string. A higher frequency means a higher energy and a shorter wavelength. One string is going to give you one note, just like one energy level will give you one lambda max and focus on color. When red dye and green dye are mixed, their molecular structures don't make the orange molecular structure, meaning the lambda max for orange would not show up on the emission spectrum. The different observed color from the lab this week can be demonstrated by the same concept of the guitar. When you strum one string, you get one note. When you strum another string, you get another note. When multiple strings are strummed together, it gives a different sound, but it's still made up of the individual strings. When we mix the red dye and the green dye in the lab, we observed an orange color. However, however the emission spectroscopy showed two lambda masses, one at the red wavelength and one at the green wavelength.